My name is Michael Mitzemacher. I teach Computer Science 124, Algorithms and Data Structures, and I do research in Algorithms and Data Structures, so I'm excited to be able to teach this class. In Computer Science 124, what I'm trying to do is to give the students an algorithmic toolkit, a, a set of tools that they can use to attack new problems. So when students go out in the real world and come across new problems that they have to solve, they have handy uh, a bunch of techniques that they can use and apply to try and attack the problem. One of the fun things that's covered in the course that I don't think students have seen elsewhere is we get into the notion of approximation algorithms. That is, it can be perfectly fine for you to come up with an algorithm that doesn't give you the right answer, but gives you something that's just close to the right answer. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to give a wrong answer to a question? Well, because maybe it saves you in terms of other resources, like space and time. So these are some of the questions that we're going to be looking at later on in the course. Computer Science 124 is definitely a class that all computer science concentrators should take. But I try and make it a class that other students should take as well. Students who are interested in problem solving in general, whether those problems come from mathematics, statistics, biology, physics, or even from the social sciences. My goal is to give you an algorithmic toolkit to handle a wide class of problems, and these problems can arise in all disciplines, in all fields. As for the, what background you need to take Computer Science 124, I would certainly recommend that students have taken Computer Science 50 or its equivalent, and certainly Computer Science 51 uh, or Computer Science 121 would also be very helpful. Uh, one thing that students have said is that sort of the more math you know going into the course, the better. Uh, but again, there aren't any firm prerequisites there. If you're hesitant about taking the course, one thing I can tell you is that this is really the course you want to take if you want to go out and practice algorithms and data structures out in the real world. If you're a computer science major thinking of working at uh, one of the major companies, your Facebooks, your Googles, your Microsofts, I think this is one of the best courses to take. And students tell me afterwards when they go on job interviews that this course was really helpful for them. I've heard from students that Computer Science 124 is challenging, uh, and it probably is. Uh, I'm not really going to apologize for that. I'm just going to say that, again, my expectation is you come out having learned an awful lot of really useful things. This is a class that I think will help you when you go out uh, on your job interviews. I think will help you when you apply to grad school. It will help you in future classes. And in particular, it will just help you think of new ways of solving different types of problems. In Computer Science 124, we have both mathematical assignments, things that involve paper and pencil, where you're working out various sort of mathematical proofs and exercises. But we also have programming assignments as well, where you implement some of the things you learn. I find that it's useful for students to both have the mathematical sense of what's going on and the implementation sense, the actual hands-on learning of implementing what's going on. For the programming assignments, students generally work in pairs. You can pick a partner and work with them on a programming assignment. So Computer Science 124 has a reputation, I think, for being one of the most useful classes you can take at Harvard. You learn a lot that actually matters in practice and in the real world. You learn a lot that will help you in the future computer science classes you'll take, as well as probably classes in other concentrations as well. So I really encourage you to come to the first lecture of Computer Science 124 to get an idea of what it's all about. We study something there about coin flipping and how to pull all the randomness out of a coin. And it's a fascinating topic that really has nothing to do with the rest of the class, but makes a great shopping period lecture. So even if you decide not to take the class, you'll have fun coming to that first day and learning something new and different that you might not otherwise see. My name is Professor Michael Mitzemacher, and this is Computer Science 124.